Ladies and gentlemen, bid you all welcome to a Gothic 2 that is still loading. So, as you guys should well remember, the last episode we got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. We were captured, and we were taken to this encampment here in the ruins, where it seems that the bandits of Jarkandar have relocated. And we have to find a way out, but in the meantime, they are hospitable enough to let us roam around on our own. So. We gotta find out something to do in the meantime, until we can hopefully make our escape. Alright, Sentenza's got nothing new for us. Not that I really want to talk to that asshole anyway. Oh, yoop. Let's see, who are you? Paul. I remember you. You're who knows assistant. Oh, there's more fighting. What are you doing here amongst these bandits? My name is Paul. One of these days I'll be the leader of this pack. Alright. Whatever you gotta keep telling yourself, buddy. Howdy, partner. What's new? What do you want to do there? Go inside. I have to execute this for Miguel. Clarify this with Tom. I am too tired to do so. Clarify what? And where's Tom? Alright, well, we gotta find Tom then. Uh, I, I think if our. It's actually been a couple weeks since I played. Uh, just, uh, sickness and stuff. But, uh, if I recall correctly, we just have to take care of some, um, we have to make some potions for Miguel or something. Hey, you're the gold guy. <coughs> oh, yeah. Who are you? <coughs> a goldsmith. Yeah, whatever. Could you hammer a sword for me? Sounds more like a job for Huno. I'm responsible for delicate works. Show me your wares. Alright, well, I'm sure we can get a weapon at some point here, and we'll probably have to do it through Huno. But it would be a bit risky to do it right now. Since, uh, we are technically a prisoner. Hello, Fisk. The notorious Fisk. Even in Gomez's estate, your name was mentioned in awe. What a charming flattery. So you must have also been imprisoned in the barrier. Back then, nobody was envious of, about your place in the colony. What can I do for you? It would be difficult to steal from him, so I don't care to attempt it right now. He has potions, he has assorted goods. Alright, nothing we really need. Where do you get all this crap? Part of it is what I brought to the camp, and the rest... We merchants full of metal do not... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Do you sell weapons? Of course I do, but not for you. Direct order from Sentenza. Ah. Can't do away with him like you did with Esteban. That's a shame. Hello, Scatty. Everybody's got a shop here. Still sticking with the bad guys? Did I see you somewhere before? You always sneaked into Gomez's to report on the morale amongst the diggers and shadows, and you took his personal orders. Oh, shady business. So you're the doll peeking from behind the bed curtains. And I overheard every single word you said. And, and, and I don't really care what he says. Just more stories made up for the sake of the mod. Just talking about how he had some, uh, he had a secret arrangement with Gomez, which he fears to speak of. He's apparently got a shop. You don't sell arms? Not to you. 
Well, what a shame. <coughs> God damn. I got a lot of coughs to edit out. This is getting ridiculous. Hello, Sneff. Have you a meal for me? Are you the cook here? What gives you that idea? No, it's more the... More the apron, the kettle, and the cooking spoon. Alright, his name is Snaff. He had to leave his wonderful inn when he left for this place. Whatever you say, buddy. <clears throat> is there anything to do for me? I won't spend my time doing dishes or peeling veggies. Got something else for me to do? <clears throat> You can deliver that muck to the pyramid. It's for the prisoners. In any case, do not speak to them. Sentenza has forbidden this. Alright. Well, we can at least see the prisoners and get a view of their predicament. But we are not allowed to speak to them, apparently. The prisoners would be the water mages as well as Thoris. For some reason, Thoris seems to be the odd man out amongst these bandits. Which is kind of sad because he was formerly their leader. He was the one that we kind of left. We kind of left with the expectation that he would take charge and uh, you know lead them out of the valley and whatever, or lead them in the valley. No one enters this building and keeps his teeth. Snaff sends me. I bring you a meal for the prisoners. Drop the monk off and off you go. Faster than a snapper snaps. Whatever you say. I got food for y'alls. You're the girl of Gomez's. Vilea. And I've never been Gomez's babe. How on earth did you get here? Just share out the soup and get back out of here. Alright, no talking it seems. Take your food. Alright, you get food too. Well, no, not you. You already had yours. Here you go. One for you. One for you. I don't know why there's no music playing. Sometimes that just happens when, uh, when I start the game until I go to a new area here's some food for you alright we're done here oh there's Tom fancy gray hair you have what's your name Greylock and how long have you been with this bunch of bandits I'm called Tom and I'm not half as stupid as you think why do you keep harping about my age? Whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> Miguel told me that you told him about some skeletons which spook in the temple. I've seen them with my own eyes. I kept watching the temple to ensure that we wouldn't be given an awkward surprise from this direction. I just stoke in a pile of bones with my foot. As suddenly as the bones start to move as if by whose hand? I didn't watch further, and I ran as fast as I could. I must go into the arch. Does there exist anything which I could use as a weapon? I would only go in there with a dozen men. Well, I need to go in there. Will you give me a weapon or not? Sentenza's order was clear. You do not get a weapon until he changes his opinion. At least let me have a rapier. Does Sentenza know that you have left your position? Okay, I guess nothing can be said against a rapier, but you must bring it back, otherwise I must snitch on you. Do not think of wearing the rapier in the camp. Eh, that's fair enough. I don't want to be caught with it anyway. That would be too much trouble for the both of us. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> 
So I got my weapon and I got my permissions. I shall eradicate these tiny skeletons. I've got business, buddy. If you say so, everything will be alright. Well, thanks for that sentiment. Alright. Let's rock and roll. Huh. I need a new name for that one. Alright. I do fear the goblin skeletons. They might be a little bit tough since I'm not wearing armor of any description. So we have to dispense with them quickly. I don't suppose I have a scroll or anything. Nah. I don't understand why I can't wear that armor in here at least. Alright. Fiends! Oh yeah, they hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna die. This sucks. That sucked a lot. Well then. How shall we accomplish this? Whoops. Get them! Come here, damn beast. Ah, there's the music. Yeah, there's still a few more, though. You want to help out? One less, One less monster around. Well, that wasn't too helpful. <laughs> they let the prisoners out to take care of them. Alright. Uh, that seemed to be two of them. means there's probably two more. I didn't quite see how many I got fucking raped by a moment ago. But, should be easier. Oh, my head hurts so much. <clears throat> Alright, tiny creatures. Yeah, back off. And that takes care of that. Oh, we also have a branch now. Not much of a weapon, but it's a weapon. Alright, so with this taken care of, unless there are further skeletons, then we should be able to just make some potions and be on our merry way. Perhaps by making ourselves useful around here, we'll be entitled to a bit more freedom. Seems weird to me that, um, what's his face, Larius, would uh, send us to be imprisoned here without telling them uh, what our actual identity is. Alright, well, I got a bunch of potions here, but I think I'm expected to make a couple more. Which is probably what all these metal knotweeds are for. Actually, I can't really remember what uh, Miguel told us to do. I think we just need to add the knotweed or something. Oh yeah, these are like unfinished potions or something. Yeah, there we go. That's that. All we need to do is complete them. To finish Miguel's potions. Potions finished. Oh yes. <clears throat> and these are unique potions with a specific script to give them to Miguel. So Come don't use them. I wonder what would happen if you actually tried to get... I think, um, like, the last episode of this, I'll actually try to... <coughs> try to get through to some of the areas that the mod blocks you out of. I'm sure there's, like, invisible walls of some kind, but we have means to uh, get around that as you can as I was just hinting at here 
I hate when you're in tunnels and it won't let you jump like that. But, I don't know, we'll probably just get really glitchy, I'm sure. Like the characters that are normally supposed to be there will be there and they'll act like it's Gothic 2 instead of this mod. And everything will just go horribly wrong. If you ever tried to get into the um, the old mine in Gothic 1 after it was supposed to have collapsed, literally nothing is different. It's like they close the gate and disable the winch, so like that's you're never supposed to get back in there. So if you use cheats to get around it, then that's what happens. Uh, nobody inside the mine really behaves any differently. Here are your potions of healing. Whatever. We're saying we dealt with the skeletons. Alright. Hey, you gave us a potion. How about that? Alright, uh, we have to report back to Snaf now. Oh, we should also report back to Tom. I just want to make sure he doesn't uh, snitch on us for using the... or for holding on to the... Uh, the, the, the sword for too long. Uh, where is Tom? Oh, I think he's sleeping. Here, Tom. Your running bones rest again. I do not believe you. There are only four goblin skeletons. If you wouldn't be that yellow, you'd be able to deal with it yourself. Sooner or later, you'll be forced to go back there or to convent confess to Sentenza that he ran away because of living bones. Give the rapier back to me. Here you go. I want no trouble. Alright, while well, he's gonna run off and check it, I don't know if we're expected to follow him. I guess not. I heard from Miguel that you have some basic knowledge in alchemy. And because of this, you want me to beg me to roll some swamp weed stems. Are you a clairvoyant? No, but this is the only thing nobody has wanted me to do yet. And will he do it now? I do not really want to do it. You would profit on it too. Do with a good bar I could do a good bargain with these stems. All right. You must give me a fair reward, and I mean a fair one. If you think I would organize a weapon for you, you are mistaken. But you will get an amulet, which is not to be sneezed at. There are 20 plants. You also get some alchemy stuff, which we'll need down there. Alright. Well, we're going back down into the depths, it seems. I'm sure we'll run into Tom along the way. And uh, he promised us a beer, if he can uh, verify that we took care of the goblins. Which we, I guess, technically did, even though we only took out half of them. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he's made it back already. Or maybe he ran all the way inside. Alright. Time to roll some reefers. <coughs> Five stems. And then we can do five more. And then five more. And last but not least, five more. <clears throat> now, if you did want to get out of this place, you know, obviously you could cheat to do it. One way would be to pop through the... pop through the door here with a that and then go through the teleporter another way would simply be to do that at the walls or the gate to the camp so I guess that doesn't really save you any specific amount of time apart from putting you next to the city 
But we're going to do it the, uh, the official way. I'm going to follow the story, take care of business, and then we will be entitled to our freedom by force or some other manner. <laughs>